Hi everybody, it's Brad with the Big Family Homestead, and in this video we are talking winter gardening tasks. So let's get to it. No, 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 ladies and gentlemen, your ears have not deceived you. I did say winter gardening tasks. And uh, so I'm gonna go over a few of the different things that we do here at our homestead, and hopefully they will be, uh, well, they'll help you in your garden. Now, first of all, it's very, very important that uh, you take this time during the winter, your downtime, to get organized. Now, uh, any successful garden is going to have planning involved, and that is absolutely key. When we first started out, uh, we really didn't give a whole lot of thought to it, and believe it or not, lo and behold, our yields were not really where they should be, and that's because we didn't know about how to, you know, you know, plan your soil out, making sure pHs are right, making sure all the nutrients are there, rotating crops. We didn't take into account a lot of different things. And so today I'm gonna to share with you some of the stuff that we've done that has helped us to become gradually more successful. So the first thing is this, you gotta get organized. Organization is absolutely the key. Yes, you gotta get organized. Now we personally actually have a three ring binder here. And we keep all of our gardening and our uh, even our animals and basically all of our food production kind of stuff. It's just like the, the holy grail bible of organization for us. We even will put in here a calendar. We'll, we'll map out, let me see if we can turn that. We'll map out when it is that we're going to need to seed inside. We'll map out when it is that we're going to need to seed outside. And in just a second, I'm gonna show you an amazing tool that really, really takes a lot of the um, guesswork out of that. But I wanna show you here, one thing that we do is we will every year map out our raised beds in our garden. We'll, we'll go ahead and label each one of the beds, what we're putting in there, and, um, and we'll, that way it helps us to make sure that we're rotating so we're not depleting the nutrients in the soil year to year. And um, well, yeah, and, and it basically, we just, well, it's just simple stuff. I mean, it's no brainer things, but you gotta make sure that you do that year to year so you're not gonna deplete your soils. Now, next thing, I want to, this, this is absolutely super de duper important. And that is this, use this time during the winter as a time of analysis. Um, what, what worked, what didn't? Make notes, put that into your binder. Uh, what, you know, did you have a problem with pests? What caused it? Did you have a success story? That stuff is very important to make sure that you're writing that down as well so you can learn and grow from your experiences and your trials. And for example, uh, this year, our second planting, we did not follow this, and I'm gonna show you this here in a second, but we did not follow when we should have done our second planting outside. We did it far too late, and a frost came early and killed our whole, whole garden. It, it's because we didn't stick to the plan. Now that also brings me to this. Uh, the, this is the Clyde's Garden Planner. This thing is absolutely cool. I don't know where you can get it, I'm sure if you Google it, you can get it, but we bought um, like a seed set, like a massive amount of, you know, hairs of 50 billion seeds, and they included this in it. But what's nice about it is you've got one side's fall, one side's spring, and you line up your frost date, your last frost date uh, average with this line, and then it tells you, you know, onions, peas, spinach, cabbage, cauliflower, tells you when to plant them inside, when to plant them outside, or if you just seed them right in the ground. This is absolutely an invaluable tool. Now, but going back quickly to the assessment part of this, I think that it's a very important thing that you, you take notes and pay attention because here's the deal. Um, you want not to do extra work or waste your time or your food. And what do I mean by that? Well, here's the thing. We, uh, when we first started gardening, squash, you know, regular old yellow squash was very, very easy for us to grow. It was, I mean, you just throw the seeds in there and you're, it's off to the races and then you got massive, massive amounts of food. Well, the thing was, is we thought, well, this is great. Let's plant like six of them. Well, the problem was our family didn't like it that much. We'd only eat it, you know, three or four times during the whole summer season. And so we ended up with so much squash 
that we couldn't give it all away and then what we couldn't give away we ended up just giving to the chickens and it was a whole lot of wasted effort and time uh, and so my recommendation is you also use this winter time to analyze what you what what went well what didn't go good um, do you need more room for X like corn or, or did you did you run out of onions you know I mean uh, root cellaring that's a whole nother story but um, what are you actually using? And I think that is a super, super de duper important key. What are you using? What got wasted? Use this time to analyze, put it in your book, get with your garden planner. And that brings me to the next and uh, final point of this video is that um, you gotta stick to the, you gotta stick to the, the script. We got burned um, by not following traditional wisdom. I thought, well, I'll go ahead and throw this out there and it didn't work out, killed our garden. So you gotta stick to the script, have a plan. This is this is my point, is that when you, when you get organized and you got your three ring binder and you know what you wanna do and you've got your map, you literally have a graphically drawn out map of what it is that you're gonna do. And I would recommend that you just, you, you do that as accurately as you can. I mean, we, we use graph paper, like I showed you, and we actually measure it out per foot, per bed. And that way we know exactly, okay, we've got, you know, this one third of this bed is going to be pepper plants. One third of this bed is going to be blah, blah, blah. But we've found that the more organized you are going in, it's going to take less effort to get more food out. So, uh, and that goes, you know, with seeding and, and all of that kind of stuff that if you're, if you're putting a little more effort in now in planning, assessment, organization, you're going to get more food with less work and less effort. And that's where it's at, right? So there it is, wanted to share a few of our ideas, what we do for the winter planting organization time. So there you have it, folks. I'm Brad with the Big Family Homestead. Oh, please, if you've got ideas or suggestions that you wanna put you know, down in the comments section, I'd love to read them. You know, we're always learning. Uh, I don't think that anyone has quote unquote arrived when it comes to being uh, the best gardener that you can possibly be. I think we're all learning and, and expanding our knowledge every year, every season. I know for sure that we are, but, uh, but that way, if you go ahead and share your experiences or what your suggestions are for this downtime during the winter, I'd love to read them. So there you have it. I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead, and you guys have an amazing day.